that uh, the block universe really, if we believe in the block universe, then we have to accept that there is this chunk of cement that has all the past and all the future in it. And uh, I sometimes talk of imagining this girl, Alicia, that is uh, stepping outside of the, the chunk into an extra dimension of space, like we sometimes accept in, in, in cosmology that there may be a fifth dimension of space. And, and the, the, the Alicia, this girl, is stepped outside into this uh, extra dimension, and she has the whole chunk of, of space-time in front of her, and uh, she can look onto... Um, the, the, the part of the region of the past, and she could see the dinosaurs uh, the, uh, when they happened. She would see uh, uh, us talking right now in, in the present, and she could look forward and see also the future in this chunk of, of space-time. She would see what, what we're going to be doing tomorrow, I mean, 100 years' time, how is the future going to be? And, and um, so for this reason, uh, the future has already happened in the block universe uh, picture because uh, you could imagine stepping outside of it and seeing everything. And, and that means that... Uh, we experience the flow of time in our day-to-day -day life. We have this experience of time passing, but that's an illusion. And in particular, the future has already happened. It's, it's, we just feel that we are going through our lives and make choices, but uh, in, in, in reality, we're more like, almost like puppets, uh, because we are just living uh, in, in a chunk of space-time that is already there and predetermined what's going to happen. The future is not open.